Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the fourth tutorial of the series Special Effects for Games. And by the way, you can find more effects in the description or in my channel. I'm using Unity 5.5 and today we are going to see how to create this ground explosion effect. Everything is available in my Patreon in case you are interested to have access to all the effects and more. So let's see how we can do this. As you may know, we create these effects with several particle systems, so it's always good to create an empty game object, which in this case is going to be called Particle System Ground Explosion. We are also going to need the folder, so let's create one and rename it to Ground Explosion as well. Now let's add our first particle system, which we want to rename it to something like Ground Mark or Ground Crack. Let's rotate it minus 90 degrees in the x-axis so it faces up. And since this is not going to move too much, we don't need any start speed, so let's set it to zero. This ground explosion effect is going to have a duration of 3 seconds, and the duration is going to be the same across all the particle systems. The lifetime on the other end is going to be different and in this case for now it's going to be 2. Let's set the max particles to 1 and in the emission let's set the rate over time to 0. And let's instead use a burst. We're going to add one by pressing the plus sign and in this specific case we only want one particle at the beginning until the end of our particle system. But we are going to see more about bursts in just a moment. And in this case there is no necessity for the shape parameter to be on because we want this to be in the center and almost steady. Ok, so now we need an image for this ground crack and I created mine in Photoshop. You can find one in Google if you search for ground crack, but I'm gonna give you some quick and simple hints on how I created this and I hope you can recreate something similar. So I started by creating a new file with 2000 by 2000 set the background to black because I'm gonna paint in white and then I created a new layer. In this layer, after choosing a nice brush like this one, I painted the center and started creating these large placeholders for the cracks. Now I'm going to start to give some details and I'm going to use the erase tool to make sure that the extremities are smaller than the center of the crack. After doing these small details that works like a spider web, I used the smudge tool to give a nice blurry effect and it will also help to glue everything together. And I only do half of the crack, then I duplicate it, rotate it and mirror it. Now I duplicate these two layers as a safe copy and merge them with Ctrl E. In the merged layer I access the layer style to give a white outer glow which will make this look much better. I added the black background and export it as a PNG to Unity. In Unity we also want to create a new material and rename it to Ground Crack. And in Shader we want to select Particles and choose Additive. Drag the Ground Crack image we created to the slot and then drag the material to the Ground Crack Particle System. And for this to appear horizontally we want to go to the last parameter, the Renderer and here we can select the horizontal billboard. We also want to set the max particle size to at least 3, otherwise when we get closer the particle will shrink. This is way too small, so let's create a random between two constants for the start size and we want to set the minimum to something like 4 and the maximum to 6, probably more. And now let's also make sure that every time this particle is born it appears with a different rotation. And we are going to use the start rotation with a random between 0 and 360 degrees. Now what we need to do is turn on color over lifetime to smooth the beginning and the ending of our particle system. The keys on top control the opacity, you can add one by clicking here and the bottom keys control the color. We can also change the base color and by the way if you want you can make this crack with color in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna change the skybox so we can see some particles that will be black. 
We can also go back to Photoshop and give some quick details by turning on the stroke and inner shadow in the layer style. Decrease the opacity of both and export to Unity. Now we can duplicate the ground crack and call it ground smoke, which means we also need to create a new material and it can have the same name and we need an image, but this time we are going to use one from Google. We can search for smoke PNG and download something like this. Import it to Unity and change the shader material to particles additive. Now drop the image to the slot and the material on top of the ground smoke. Let's change the color over lifetime to something like this. And since this is going to be black smoke, we need to change the shader to particle multiply, which will allow us to change the start color to black. Great, now we can duplicate this black smoke again and I'm gonna make one bigger and the other one smaller. Ok, let's create some black smoke and we can add another particle system which can be rotated minus 90 degrees in the X axis. Rename it to smoke or black smoke. Create a new material with the same name and change the shader to particles multiply again. And we can add the same smoke image we used for the ground smoke and drag the material to the smoke particle system. So, like I said, every particle system has a duration of 3 seconds. Let's also change the start lifetime to random between two constants. And for now something like 0.8 for the minimum and 2.2 for the maximum is good. We also want some randomness in the start speed and values around 0.2 between 2 should be enough. Now let's make the start size random between 1 and 2 for now and the start rotation between 0 and 360 degrees. Let's change the shape and we want something more cylindrical like this. And now a very important parameter to make this look like smoke coming out after an explosion is the emission separator. And we want to set the rate over time to 0 and we are going to use the bursts. We can add 4 bursts in the plus icon and we want a burst at the very beginning another one at the second 0.1, one at the second 0.3 and the last one can be emitted at 0.4. In the beginning we don't want too much smoke, so numbers between 8 and 15 are good and at around 0.3 we want something like 20 and 50, at least, maybe more. And for the final one at 0.4, something between 10 and 30 should be enough. And we can see how many particles are being emitted in the total right here and adjust the max particles to a similar value. Now let's make the born and the hand of the particle smoother by turning on color over lifetime and change it to something like this. We also want to change the smoke size over lifetime to a graph similar to this. And by the way, you can add keys with the right click mouse. Now this looks good for the smoke, let's duplicate this black smoke and call it the explosion smoke. And as usual we need a material for it and it can have the same name. We also need to change the shader to particles additive, drag the smoke image to this slot and finally drag the material to the explosion smoke. Ok, so let's change the start lifetime to something like 0 0.2 and 0 0.7, so it's going to be a quick particle system. Let's make the start speed a little bit faster, like this, and now we want to change the bursts, and they have to be faster because the particle is also faster, and the bursts will be emitted at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. And we want these values for the minimum and the maximum. You may notice that we have a big burst at uh, 0 0.2 because that's the way to give the sensation of a big impact. Now we want to increase the minimum and the maximum of their start size. Let's also change the shape to hemisphere and change the start color to something like this, which gives the sensation of explosion. If you want, you can also change the gradient of the color over lifetime to give a more warm feeling to the explosion smoke. 
Now let's create a new particle system and call it impact. Rotate it minus 90 degrees in the X axis. And let's also create a material called impact. And now we need an image like this one. And this is really easy to create. Let's create a new file with 2000 by 2000. Paint the background to black. And select this custom shape tool. And in this drop down menu, select this shape. Now we can personalize it with the pen tool or by pressing P. And if you hold control, the white arrow will appear, which will allow us to move the vertices around until we reach a shape similar to this one. Now press two times in the shape layer to have access to the layer style and turn on outer glow. Change it to white and play with the size and spread of the glow. To make this smoother, we also want to add some Gaussian blur in the filters. And let's adjust the outer glow again. And finally, we can hide the black background and export to Unity as a PNG. You can drag the image to the material slot and move the material on top of the particle system. Let's change the start speed to zero so it doesn't move up and set the rate over time of the emission to zero. And we add two bursts. The second burst starts at 0.2 and both have a minimum and a maximum of one. Change the duration to three and set a random start lifetime between 0.2 and 0.5. The start size is also going to be random between four and eight, probably more. This really depends on your taste and the start rotation is random between 0 and 360 degrees. Turn on color of a lifetime and create something similar to this. Let's just change the opacity of the start color and now turn on size over lifetime. And we want a curvature similar to this one, which will make the particle quickly big at the beginning and rapidly lose its size. Finally, let's go to the last separator called Renderer and increase the max particle size to at least 3. Ok, so let's duplicate the ground smoke and call it ground beam, which will give the sensation that the ground is hot. And we create a material with the same name and change the shader to particles additive. Now we are going to need an image similar to this one. And it's really easy to create one in Photoshop. Just use a brush with an opacity of around 25 and start painting from big circles to small circles. Or you can google for point of light. Now import it to Unity, drag to the material and drop the material on top of the ground beam. And what we need to modify is the start size to around 10 and 12, probably more, the start rotation to 0, the max particles to 4, because we are going to use two bursts, one in the beginning with a minimum and a maximum of 1, and the other one at 0.2, with a minimum and a maximum of 2. And by the way, let's also change the curve of the size of a lifetime to something similar to this. Ok, so this is already starting to look good. We just want to add a very important particle system, which is the vertical impact. And we can duplicate the existing impact particle system. Create a new material and change it to particles additive. Now let's again create a new image in Photoshop, similar to this one. And basically we do the same thing that we did for the impact. We create a shape like this one. And we apply some Gaussian blur, apply the outer glow, hide the black ground and export to Unity as a PNG. Now drag to the material and the material to the vertical impact particle system. And to fix this, we need to set the render mode to vertical billboard the start speed to 0.1, positive and not negative like I did, and set the start rotation to 0. Let's also change the shape to a small circle like this, and the start lifetime to 0 
and now in the emission we want two bursts and the second will have a minimum and a maximum of four. We can also make this look more warm by changing the start color and by changing the color of a lifetime to a warm gradient like this one. And to give this a little bit more of randomness, we want to turn on 3D start rotation and set the Z to between 10 and minus 10 degrees. Ok, that looks good for the vertical impact. Let's duplicate the explosion smoke so we can create some horizontal smoke. And the first thing we want to change is the shape. We want to set this to an emit from volume shell and then we want to create this shape so the smoke goes to the sides. Let's just change the size over lifetime to this and we also need to modify the bursts to something like this. Ok, these are my final values, you can copy them. I may have changed them a little bit, but the idea is that you also play with these values and see what you like. Finally, for the last particle system, we need to create a new one. Rotate it minus 90 degrees in the X axis and rename it to particles. And it's going to be the particles that will look like sparks. Let's set the duration to 3. And now we want to set random between two constants for the start lifetime, the start speed and the start size. Those are my values for now. Now in the emission we want 4 bursts. And those are the falling end values that I use it. Basically there is a big burst of the particles at 0.2 which will give the sensation of a big impact. Next thing is increase the angle of the shape to around 50 or 60. Let's turn on color over lifetime and change it to this. And turn on size over lifetime with this graph. Now we can use the ground beam material to this particle system and change the render mode to stretch it billboard with a small speed scale value like 0.05 which will stretch the image and it will look much better. Now you can change the color of a lifetime to a warmer gradient and now we only need to turn on velocity over lifetime to add some cool randomness to our particles. And we can set random between two constants which will let us insert a minimum and a maximum to the x, y and z axis. I set a value of 2 and minus 2 for the three axes like this. And those are my final values by the way, you can pause and copy if you want. Now we only need one more little thing which is the light. And we can add a light to the ground beam. If we scroll down you can see that there is a parameter called light and that there is an input for a light. What we want to do is create a point light, rename it to beam light and decrease the range to 4. I'm gonna change the color to blue just to show a little thing in a moment. And now we drag this to our folder to create a prefab. Delete the one in the scene and now if we go back to the ground beam and drag the prefab to the light we don't see anything at first because we need to set the rate to 1. We need to increase the intensity. And now you can see that we have red light, red yellow light. And if I turn off use particle color, it's going to use the, the color of the light. And this is very useful to change colors if you want. And that's it guys, we have created in my opinion a great ground explosion effect. It looks really cool and feel free to ask any questions and I hope you have learned something new if you want to have access to these effects and more you can support me in my Patreon and thanks for watching guys subscribe for weekly game development videos and see you in the next tutorials